Good day, Batang Mandunong. Today, I was assigned to, to discuss to you about solving quadrat equation by completing the square for quarter 1, week 1. I am teacher Donato Otidad Jr. from Highway Hills Integrate School. Before we start, we have to know our objective. At the end of this video, you are expected to solve quadrat equation by completing the square. So let's start. An expression such, such as x squared plus 8x is an incomplete square. But if you add 16 to x squared plus 8x, you will get x, x squared plus 8x plus 16, which is a perfect squared trinomial and equivalent to x plus 4 squared in factored form. When we add 16 to x squared plus 8x, we are completing the square. So we have to look for a pattern in the following table. Now we have the three rows. We have incomplete square, the completed square, and the factored form. Okay, so we have to uh, take a look the take the table. Okay, so now we have to define what is completing the square. So when we say complete the square, it's an expression of the form x squared plus bx or x squared minus bx and add the constant term which is b over 2 squared to complete the square. So in x squared plus 2bx, if we take 1 half of 2b or b and square it, we will get the third term which is b squared. Now, we have to know the step in solving quadrat equation by completing the square. Number 1. Transform the given quadrat equation in the form ax squared plus bx equal to c where a, b, and c are real number constant. Number 2. Divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x squared. If x not equal to 1, if a is equal to 1, proceed to the next step. Number 3. Or step 3, get one half of the coefficient of x, square it, and add to both sides to make the left side a perfect square trinomial. Step 4, factor the left side and simplify the right side if possible. Step 5, extract the square root of both sides and prefix positive and negative sign before the square root of the right side member. Step 6, solve the resulting linear equation. So let's have an example. Okay, solve 2x squared plus 8x minus 10 is equal to 0 by completing the square. Solution. So we have 2x squared plus 8x is equal to 10. Okay, so we have to transform that into ax squared plus bx equal to c. Okay, so so we have to divide both sides by 2 since your a is equal to 2. So that is step 2. So we have x squared plus 4x is equal to 5. Okay. So proceed time to step 3. So since your b is 4, so mangyayari, 1 half times 4, that is 2. Squared it. So we have... 2 squared is equal to 4 or 2 times 4, 2 that is 4 so we have to make it a square perfect square trinomial so we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 4 so we have to add 4 both sides ok so we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square trinomial so, meaning the factor form is x plus 2 times x plus 2, then 5 plus 4, we have 9. Then, x plus 2, in factor form, we have x plus 2 squared is equal to 9. And then, we have to extract the square root. So, we have square root of x plus 2 squared is equal to positive and negative square root of 9. 
So, uh, cancel natin yung square root, tapos 6.2. na two. So, we have x plus 2, then square root of 9, that is 3. Kaya positive and negative 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang solution. We have x plus 2 is equal to 3. x plus 2 is equal to negative 3. So, next, the first, we're going to simplify first is x plus 2 is equal to 3. Now, we have to subtract 2 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x is equal to 3 minus 2. So, 3 minus 2, that is 1. So, x is equal to 1. Next, we have x plus 2 is equal to negative 3. Then, we have to subtract 2 both sides. Okay? So, we have x is equal to negative 3 minus 2. So, x is equal to negative 5. The roots and solution of the quadratic equation are 1 and negative 5. Five. Okay, let's proceed to example 2. Solve x squared plus 8x plus 2 is equal to 0 by completing the square solution. x squared plus 8x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so step 1. We have x squared plus 8x is equal to negative 2. Since our a is equal to 1, proceed to the next step. Okay, since your a, b is 8, so 1 half of 8, that is 4. Squared 8 is equal to 16. So we have a, uh, x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to negative 2 plus 16. So we have to add 16 both sides. Okay, so x squared plus 8x plus 16 is a square, uh, perfect square trinomial. So the factor form is x plus 4 and x plus 4. So, negative 2 plus 16, we have 14. Then, x plus 4 and x plus 4, the factor form is x plus 4 squared is equal to 14. Then, next, we have to extract the square root to both sides. We have square root of x plus 4 squared is equal to positive negative square root of 14. So, cancel natin radical sign at yung exponent. We have x plus 4 is equal to positive negative square root of 14. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang solution. We have x plus 4 is equal to square root of 14. And x plus 4 is equal to negative square root of 14. Simple mo natin muna yung x plus 4 is equal to square root of 14. So, mangyayari, we have to subtract 4 to both sides of the equation or subtract 4 of both sides of the equation. So, we have x is equal to negative 4 plus square root of 14. Next, so, ganun din, we have to subtract 4 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x is equal to negative 4 minus square root of 14. So, therefore, the roots or solution of the quadratic equation are negative 4 plus square root of 14 and negative 4 minus square root of 14. Okay? So, I hope na may natutunan kayo sa, sa how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. Okay? So, thank you for listening.